In this video, we traveled all the way to Hong Kong to take on this city's most extreme noodles. Hong Kong is a city of over 7 million people, and the food here is highly influenced by Cantonese cooking. And when I say it's influenced, what I mean is that it is Cantonese food. And that includes the noodles. Today, we're going on the ultimate Hong Kong noodle tour. We'll be trying Hong Kong's cheapest noodle, Hong Kong's oldest noodle, Hong Kong's best noodle, and finally, Hong Kong's most expensive noodle. First, we're starting with Hong Kong's absolute cheapest noodles. Let's head now to our first location under the guidance of Virginia. She is the operator of Cubid with a Chance of Fish Balls, a tour company here in Hong Kong. Let's head to our first location. Right behind us, Virginia, what is the name of this place and how cheap are the noodles exactly? It's called Dick Thai and you can get noodles for a dollar and thirty cents. A dollar and thirty cents? Yeah. On the street? On the street. That's wild. And apparently they sell 5,000 rice rolls a day. The best part about this location is she has not gotten permission yet. So we're about to go in and maybe get yelled at. So this is not a joke. Ah, she brought envelopes full of money. Smart. I also brought my actual tour guide license to show that I'm legit. This is never gonna work. All right, she's gone inside. She's talking to somebody inside and she is gone. She said okay. She said okay. Yeah. All right, so right here, the steamer is open and you can see there are tons of rolled noodles inside. That is soy sauce. Then we get some sesame sauce and then some sweet hoisin sauce and then the sesame seeds on top and then a stick. Uh, yes, and then a chili sauce being added as well. These noodles are giving me anxiety over here. I can't believe how fast she made those. Okay, let's go eat. So here, we have our dish. Come take a look. Now, you may know the first way they're making it cost so little, perhaps a lack of protein. It's just a rice batter that they spread, steam, and roll up. After that, they're just piling on a load of different flavors. Although I heard that there's some animal lard. The cheapest part of the animal. Our first course of the day, let's give it a shot. Oh my lord. It's sweet, it's savory, it tastes like sweet diner jam. That's strange. Is it supposed to be this sweet? Yes, because of the hoisin sauce. This is our like kids favorite breakfast and after school snack. No wonder it suits me so well. I find it to be delicious, very unique. When I just saw like the plain rice rolls, I was like, uh oh, that's not gonna have any flavor. But really, they've piled on the flavor here. It's got a little bit of everything. It's basically peanut butter and jelly noodles, right? That's exactly right. Food expert. So that is our first location, $1.30 for noodles, super cheap. But next, we're moving to a location where they're serving one of the oldest noodles you will find in Hong Kong. Boom, and we have come to our second noodle location right here. Virginia, tell me more about it. We're at a one-ton noodle shop, and it started in 1946 as a street cart vendor, and then in 1961, it's moved over here. This noodle shop is recommended on the Michelin Guide. They are known for one exceptional dish. That dish is the... One-ton noodles. What do you think makes a wonton noodle stand out above every other type of noodle? It's comforting, it's slurpable, and it's delicious, and it's the first thing I want to eat when I come back to Hong Kong. Let's go and Side and check it out. All right, so right now I'm walking through the very small dining room. I'm heading into the kitchen. This is where all the magic happens. We have the broth, we have wontons, we have the noodles, and all of that is gonna join forces soon. So the dish starts with the wontons. The wontons are already formed, but they're gonna blanch them right here in the hot water first. So let's talk about the broth right here. This is made with pork bones, but there's also dried flounder, dried shrimp roe, and dates as well. Alas, he takes out the wontons, so he takes a nice plump bunch of those, he puts them in the bowl, and then he soaks the whole bowl with that rich broth. Then my noodles hit the net here on this side. That's getting blanched right now. He gives them a little bit of a flip, give them a little bit of bath, and then boom, apply those to the top of the bowl. Scallions on top of that, and that bowl is complete. Guys, wonton noodles are probably my favorite noodles in the world. Wow, I didn't know that. Over fall? Uh, Your wife is here. My wife is holding the camera at the moment, but um, technically there would be a world or a reality in which this is my favorite over fall. So for me, I just love an egg noodle. It's all about the texture. It's got some chew to it. Cheers. <laughs> It is a thin al dente noodle. As you're ripping through each chopstick full, you can feel each strand of noodles breaking against your teeth. It's so delicious. Like eating the hair of an angel, roughly speaking. What fascinates me about the broth is that they're using dried seafood. They're using pork bones. That's how you get a very layered, complex broth. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so savory, and these little green scallions that come with it imbue so much flavor. Next, we're going to the wontons. They put five plump, beautiful, wrinkly wontons inside. That's such a good wonton. Oh, I'm in love. Wife, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. It was good. It's really good. I'm gonna take one more wonton. 
I can taste pork, I taste the shrimp really exploding inside. So this is one of the best bowls of noodles I've ever had in Hong Kong, but also in my life. But we're not done here. From here, we're headed to a one-star Michelin rated noodle restaurant that specializes only in noodles. I know what you're thinking. That's not three. Yeah, but it's a lot better than zero. How many do you have? Sorry, I'm getting defensive. Let's head there now. Next on our noodle journey, one of the best noodles you will find in Hong Kong. And you'll find it in a mall. But some French guys who own a tire company say it's really good. And the noodle we're gonna be trying here is called Guan Tao Ao Ho. We all remember that from our childhoods. Wait, what? What kind of noodle is it? Rice noodle, and they make it fresh daily. They put it in a wok and they stir fry it. Fantastic. I believe this is gonna be my first time ever trying this noodle. Let's head to the kitchen now and check it out. Good. It's also um, the first ever noodle shop in Hong Kong to receive a Michelin star. Say again? It's the first. So right now we're walking through the restaurant and heading into the kitchen where they make this stir fried noodle dish. Entering through this door, passing by the dim sum station and the chef right here next to the wok station. Sir, let's get into it. So we have all of our ingredients right here, including beef. These are the beautiful rice noodles. We have yellow chives. We have scallions. We have onion. And then we have bean sprouts. Step one, put oil into a crazy hot wok. Then he hits the beef with a little bit of oil and slides that gently into the oil. My God, he's basically deep frying the beef at this point. Glorious. Next, he grabs the onions. Those hit the oil too. So that gets put to the side. We're not gonna be eating all that oil today. The next step, we have the bean sprouts and then the rice noodles. Oh, look at that technique. Just making it dance. Scallions are going in. Salt and sugar, and then we've got some yellow chives. He tosses back in the meat with the onion. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Hit it with a little bit of sauce. That is homemade soy sauce he just put in, and that gives it all this beautiful color. The dish has completely transformed. He lights it on fire. That was some lard. Alas, the dish is complete. Just look at that scene. Right here we have the final product. It looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you, chef. All right, folks, we have our noodles. Right here. Even after doing this all this time, when I set up lights in a random restaurant and eat with my wife filming me with the phone, I get a little self-conscious. I feel like people might be looking at me, judging me. But here's the reality. I want you to know if you try to do something similar to what I'm doing right now and you're worried like, oh my God, people are judging me. Guess what? They are especially me, probably me the most. Let's eat. Okay, I'm gonna start with the beef. The beef is thinly sliced, super lean. Virginia says it comes from the butt of the cow. Is that right, Virginia? Correct, it's the most tender with beef flavor. Okay, I'm not sure who told her the most tender part of the cow was in the butt, but that's what she thinks. Let's find out. Wow. Was I right? That's tender. It's almost somewhat spongy. There's a strong taste of soy sauce in here. Let's mix up these noodles and get a nice big bite. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. Wow. The noodles are glistening. You can see there's a sheen on these. The sheen and the glisten is from the lard they use at the very end. Ah, see? Lard does have a purpose. Aside from soy sauce, there is that flavor, that smokiness that comes from the wok. I think people call it wok hay. Wok hay, the breath of the wok. Mm, that's definitely what I'm tasting, some wok breath. Finally, I'm told this is a hot sauce that I should be trying. Cheers. Oh man, very sour, salty, and a lot of heat. This is really an incredible plate of noodles and it costs $18.33. So this was a fantastic noodle experience, but not our final noodle experience because we're gonna be trying next the most expensive noodles we can find here in Hong Kong. This location right behind me doesn't actually seem like they would have an expensive bowl of noodles. It looks like just a typical run-of-the-bill Hong Kong diner. But in fact, here they have a bowl of noodles they're selling for $58. Virginia, how are they getting to that price? It's the beef. Which part of the cow is the meat coming from? It's a very specific part. Let me um, try to demonstrate. Now, if I were... Okay. So it's between the ribeye and the brisket, and it's like 1%, and you only have it on both sides, so there's only two pieces of it, and it's fresh beef. I get, no, please stop. Let's just go inside and take a look. Boom! I have stepped into the noodle room, and I'm here with the noodle maestro himself, and he's about to embark on this beef noodle mission. Let's get to it. It all starts in here with the beef. I mean, that is exactly what Virginia described. We come back into the noodle room, and then he gets the cleaver out. Time for some serious business. Wow, that thing's sharp. So he's carefully taking off some of that lard. Now he's cutting thin slices of this portion right here. This is gonna cook instantly in a hot broth. The next move is to grab the noodles. This is a thin white vermicelli 
jelly noodle. Puts it in the basket. It only takes a moment before those noodles slide right into the bowl. He blanches some greens, not knowing that I don't actually care about vegetables, but he does it anyways. The veggies go on top of the noodles. Now the beef heading into the basket and being dropped into this beef bone broth. It only takes a moment of the searing hot broth to just barely kiss the beef before it's already cooked through. He brings the beef back and plops it on top of the noodles. He hits it with a little bit of garlic oil and then more of that beef bone broth saturating the noodles. Green onions on top and that dish is complete. Now the chef is pouring some soy sauce and a bit of chili oil. Thank you, chef. Ngoisai. All right, folks, we have our final noodle of this video. Virginia, how did you find this place? I went on the internet and searched most expensive bowl of noodles. And then there was an article that was very divided about this bowl of noodles. So I was like, ooh, maybe Sunny should try. Wow, controversial. I will tell you in the end if I think it's worth it. First of all, he did not skimp on the beef. Look at the marbling on that. It's like a nice netted texture of fat and protein. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a dip. Let's give it a shot. Mmm, super salty. Ooh, it's spicy too. And then the feel of the meat is super satisfying. Oh my God, I better eat some more meat. There's so much meat. Mmm, aside from the beef, this is a beautiful, rich broth. Mmm, not very salty but it has a lot of beefiness to it, but I like it. Meanwhile, I forgot it's a noodle tour. I'm gonna take some with the beef. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of sauce, pick up some beef and some noodles together. Mm. The noodles are delicious. They're actually keeping their shape pretty well for being a rice noodle. And they're soaking up all that broth, adding even more beefiness and a little bit of balance to each bite. This is a tough call. Would I, in my normal life, spend $58 on a bowl of noodles like this? I'd probably be tempted just to get the typical like wonton noodles or something like that. Regarding whether it's delicious or not, oh, it's delicious. Regarding the price, I'm not so sure about that. But what we're gonna do next is review the four different noodles we've tried so far today, and I'm gonna tell you which one was my absolute favorite. In this video, we tried four different types of noodles. We had the rice noodle rolls, we had wonton noodles, we had one Michelin star rice noodles that were fried with beef, and then we had these noodles that we just had here that were very expensive also made with beef. But the one noodle that absolutely won my heart over had to be the wonton noodles. Those were just some of the best wontons I ever had in my life. It was just like a firecracker of porky shrimpy goodness. It was so good. Before we go, I want to say a huge thank you to Virginia for making this trip possible. She is running a tour company called Humid with a Chance of Fish Balls. And this is a great way to make use of your time while you're in Hong Kong. Go to her website, book a tour, and make the most of your time in Hong Kong, whether it's by going to a food tour or doing something else. We also have mahjong classes, Instagram videos and YouTube videos so all the information will be here or here correcto is she now deciding where all the information is right. otherwise that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching I will see you next time peace if you love Indian food then you're gonna love our new channel best ever food India subscribe now for weekly videos showcasing the most unique street food from around the country